Y'all have tricks with Steve, and I think you guys get that because you have Scorpio in your seventh house. But anyway, the underlying energy here is the Eight of Swords. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with some situations where you may feel like you're stuck in a situation, stuck in your thoughts, not able to make moves, not really sure of where to get, where to move forward from, okay? Now here, you have the Chariot. So in the past, there were some things moving very fast. There was some moment, momentum, controlling of oneself. There was a lot of utilizing the energies to the best of your advantage. But now, overthinking has taken over, potentially. It, it, overthinking, thinking too much, thinking too little. Not really seeing the situation at hand, right? It's just, you know, it is what it is. Well, let's look at the current state of your being uh, for your love life, Taurus. And you have the Seven of Cups, y'all. Seven of Cups. There are some confusions confusing stuff going down all right not really certain of what each option has to um has i guess you know what is really real about any of these right what is really um concrete about these options here i feel like right now things are just kind of like i have no clue what's going down i have no clue what's going on i have no idea where you know which 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 cut to go for because honestly neither of them any of them have showed me any sort of direction in which it's trying to lead right well in your desired outcome you guys have the king of wands so for some of you guys you may want to reconnect with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius but it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign y'all this could be someone that is very passionate very creative very um very um I want to say a little bit stubborn, but they love to do things. They're very active individuals. But the thing here is, this could be even you guys, because you guys are kings and you guys are fixed signs. So this could be very much you. Like you guys want to be authentic to yourself. You want to do things that you want to do. You want to have more fun. You want to feel more alive. And with Uranus in your sign, Uranus can do that, right? Uranus can make you feel like, oh my God, I've been living under a rock this entire time. And like you just want to purge, and especially with Leo in the North Node, yeah, everybody's gonna feel like that for a second until uh, North Node probably goes to the Cancer. And we'll see what happens then. But <clears throat> excuse me, I do get this feeling that f f get this feeling though for a lot of you guys, y'all just want to be you, and you don't want, we don't express that. You want to express that you, and it's really hard, um, especially with commitments that you guys have. And now the reason why I say that. It's because you know, Taurus, you know you're committed. You know when you, when you're, you're super loyal. When you are asked to commit to something, you definitely go ahead and do it, right? You just like, hey, look, this is what I said I was going to do. I'm going to do it. You guys are, you know, you guys are good like that. But I feel like this commitment is what's causing you guys from, is keeping you guys from being the King of Wands or interacting with the King of Wands. Either way, but this is the committed card, right? So this is commitment. There's something that's like some sort of commitment that's holding you back, unfortunately. And the reason why it's potentially holding you back is because of this Ace of Wands. It's something new, something exciting, something very passionate, or rekindling of an old relationship. Because the Ace, Ace of Wands can talk about rekindling an old flame here. So it could talk about burning a new fire with a, well, burning a new fire with an existing stick, all right, with somebody you already know. But it could also be that you started, it started very passionately, very exciting, and it went forward, and it was awesome, right? Totally new individual doesn't have to be an ex. But now it's like you committed to it and you don't know where it's going to go and you want to get to here, but then you kind of don't want to break the commitment. So it's like, yeah, no doubt you have the Eight of Swords in your underlying energy. So what the advice is saying here is to be the King of Swords. You guys have been being the King of Swords for a little bit and now they're asking you to be the King of Swords. Okay. It's like saying, Okay, guys, you want what you want. You got to be true with yourself. You got to be true with you. You got to create boundaries and truths that basically get you to where you want to be. And that means that you have to kind of detach from what your emotions are and look at what you want. Look at what your truths are. Look at your morals. Look at your, you know, your belief systems and then make stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? It's cut some sweat people out. Cut some people out. Cut some people in, you know. Do whatever you need to do with that sword. Make that sword work for you. Um, because right now, you're it's almost like the commitment is running you and you're just kind of like stuck in limbo. You have a path. You have a truth. Sure, the situation may not be clear where, it where it's headed, but all you got to do is just be true to yourself. 
All you gotta do is lay down the law for yourself. All you gotta do is lay down the law for other, yourself to other people, and then people will fall in line, or they will just fall out. Then you'll realize that who you know who stays in, who doesn't stay in, and then voila, things will be perfect, right? Things will be just fabulous. But then you get to be you. You get to have fun. You get to be the rich and powerful Taurus that's resting within you. Okay. Now, with that being said, I do feel like the Seven of Swords can be talking about you feeling like you're being dishonest with yourself. You're being dishonest with your emotions by keeping up with this relationship. And I feel like you may be wanting to avoid this connection altogether because you want to be the true you that you truly are, right? Now, this could be, again, an Aries, uh, not an Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is over here, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Um, and I do get this feeling of the Seven of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me. The seven of swords could be talking about like you know you may not be um necessarily sad it's not necessarily satisfied but you may be you know you may be taking a risk by doing something like this as well but i don't feel like that's the case i feel like you may be dishonest with yourself or feeling dishonest with yourself because you have a commitment that you're standing by that doesn't truly resonate with who you are anymore probably because you got the eight of cups here the eight of cups in your hopes and fears which automatically tells me y'all this situation really does not it doesn't ring it doesn't ring your bell anymore it doesn't really scream taurus this is mine anymore i feel like honestly you want to run away from that you want to you want to kind of you want to take a risk on a new adventure being the king of wands that's where the risk to me comes in that's why i was saying it. so with the eight of cups and your hopes and fears yeah the situation doesn't look very satisfying and especially when you're having to pick a path and you don't really know where you're going to go with it now the theory of the thing is like if you do pick an option which is going being you focusing on you being very selfish and just honestly just being the the per, the tourist that you are then yeah there's uncertainty with this relationship where the relationship would go but is that a bad thing though no because why because you're a taurus that's why and i know what's like what does what does my sign have to do with it venus what does it or sia whatever you guys like to call me what does what does that have to do with what does my sign have to do with with what with me being okay with you know with you know uh, an option that i decide to go with may not be may not be like exactly concrete or you know where i i can't see the future wh wh why is that okay well i'll tell you why and why your sign is important because you're a fixed sign fixed signs are good at what holding down the fort all right they know how to make a foundation and make it solid all right fake fixed signs are good at that okay really really good at that without fixed signs we wouldn't have buildings we wouldn't have institutions we wouldn't have people that know how to handle stuff we wouldn't have a foundation we wouldn't have government okay because that's what found, that's what fixed signs are all about they're not necessarily about you know the govern governing things but they're about making sure that there is a platform for things to have a you know that you know have some stability so without you guys the imagine a world with like moving plates all the time well, well imagine islands with nothing keeping it steady right nothing no ground that keeps it steady we're just floating islands and eventually we would crash into each other and completely just, like, destroy everything have serious earthquakes we probably wouldn't even exist okay we probably be out like the dinosaurs but that's the thing that's what the, that's why you guys are so important because you guys do keep the islands from floating you guys do keep these these you know you, you keep everything solid so even if a situation looks uncertain, you know how to make plans and make things happen to where things can be very solid. So that's why I'm not worried about the Seven of Cups. That's why I feel like you shouldn't be worried about the Seven of Cups because you're coming up with the King of Wands, coming up with the King of Swords, you're gonna add some fixed energy to that. It's gonna be stable in, some, in a very authentic and freeing, very, and freeing way. It's very interesting and very beautiful and I don't know how you do it, but you do it, okay? So that's why I'm not worried about this. So even if this is uncertain i don't see that there's an issue here with this whatever you decide to go for whatever you decide to pick in regards to being who you are and just going with it there is nothing wrong i don't see anything happening here other than you making it work for you okay and that's the part that i kind of want that's i'm saying all this because this eight of cup eight of swords here saying you feel trapped you don't see an option forward you feel like there's no way out there's no way forward all right and it's like no 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 you have everything you need here you have everything you can't come up with the king of pentacles because you're not trying to work diligently at something you're trying to be you king of pentacles yes he works on himself and stuff but he knows his value this is great 
But you working on you. You're trying to be you. You're trying to speak your truth. You want to be out there. You want to be who you are. You want people to know who you are when they come up to you instead of just being like, oh, that's the person I can come to for help. No, no, no. You want to be you. So the Eight of Swords, to me, in that underlying energy is showing you what exactly is out there. Is that what exactly what you're not seeing? And it doesn't have. And it doesn't mean what can you see in the future. It means what can you see within yourself to be able to actually get the clear you need and not worry about what comes up in the future. Because honestly, if you can, if you go the road that you're going, and it's going to open up a new door anyway, right? It's going to open up a new door. It's going to open up a new door of love emotional um op openness of all kinds it's gonna be beautiful you're the ace of cups there and i know taurus like if you've been doing something for so long and committed to something for so long family oriented you know like family maybe you know you're the norm you do certain things you, you you're the regular you know you're a regular you're always the person that does something every time with no mistake it can be it can be exhausting, especially if it really didn't resonate with you in the beginning. But this is talking about relationships, so you just want to be you, okay? The only and I feel like the commitment is what's probably making you feel like you don't have a lot of options. But in actuality, you just gotta be you, and you see if the person can catch up at that point. <clears throat> Excuse me again. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the or your whispers of love. Excuse me. Uh, I always get those two mixed up. It's Whispers of Love and Wisdom of the Oracle, but I always get those two crossed over and crisscrossed and all that mess. Whispers of Love, Wisdom of the Oracle. But this is Whispers of Love. We're going to see what they have to say regarding your love life here. Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself to... Uh, oh, excuse me. Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Very interesting, Taurus, okay? Okay, okay, now it's very interesting because the King of Swords is very good at helping people. Like he's very, he's a, he's an advisor in a way, right? He's the lawyer, he's the person you can come to for advice to someone that can reevaluate your shit, your stuff, right? Reevaluate your situations, your choices for you. Um, um, the situation may be is that if someone comes to you for help, yeah, you help them, but make sure it's authentic, first of all. Like, when I say that, like, if you really want to help them, then do so. But if you don't want to help them, don't. Because right now, there's a lot focusing on you right now. Like, the only people I see in this reading is you. Now, it could be that these are other people that come up in your relationship. Like I said, there could be, like, other folks that are very passionate and some others that are very cold and distant, right? You know, you could be dealing with somebody else that, uh, at the same time, right? And it could be that you may need some help in regards to, you know, executing your goal. But this is about being you. You know, maybe, maybe you just need to communicate exactly what you need instead of just, instead of asking for help. It's very really weird with that card here. Okay. <clears throat> but ultimately, this could be for like people that, you know, that need this message. If you are feeling very prideful right now, Taurus, or other Taurians out there that probably need this, I need to ask for help message, don't be afraid to ask for help. You don't want to be the one struggling. And because, because people love you. People want to help you. You'd be surprised people want to reach out to help you. Okay. So if you, especially if you've been helping people so much, you know, allow people to help you in. Allow people in to help you. <clears throat> and then two... You may even recognize to interacting with others that you're getting the help that you need without actually noticing it. So without actually having to ask, right? But that's a different story, that's a different topic, and that's definitely a different ramble. Alright, let me go ahead and pull you guys your wisdom of the Oracle card. Ooh, Treasure Island. X marks the spot. It's a very interesting card, right? About manifestation. Um, this is also about, you know, knowing what your heart's desire is to be able to know and you know where to go and get it and it's going to require you guys to be more you know to be not be more of something but just to be honest with yourself about what you guys want y'all want to be the king of wands perfect that is already uh, you already marked down what kind of treasure you wanted on that map all right it's pretty much knowing about what it is that you want to manifest in the first place what is it that you want to manifest and if you want to if you want this this is the card for law of attraction, which is you have to be what you want. You have to be what you want to attract what you want. And that's how you get it. That's how you, you know, that's how you find the treasure that you're looking for. Okay, you got to trace the steps of which you want to be that, you know, which your treasure, where, where your treasure is, right? That's all reading a map is, tracing your steps or following the steps that is set on the, in, in the map, right? Let's think about Pirates of the Caribbean, right? 
take three paces left, right? You're always tracing a step. You're being what you are reading because you're doing what you're exactly, what you're being told, what you're being, you're, sorry, you're reading. Now uh, you're doing what is being, what was written down to trace the steps back to the treasure that you're trying to get to. I know it's kind of crazy, but it's true. It's how it works, right? Think about all the treasure hunts that you've been on, all the treasure hunts and all the, you know, the Easter egg hunts. You always, when you found Easter eggs, you always have to trace back steps of someone else, or, or at least trace back, or at least trace back steps of where stuff was. Right? It's it's a little complicated, um, but you know, I think I like my pirate pirate example a little bit better. But that's the whole point. And in order for you to be able to manifest this treasure, to manifest what your desired outcome is. You gotta be you, right? You gotta wanna be you. You want to be, to be more expressive, to be more open, to be more active, to be more authentic with yourself and to other people around you. And then you can do that right here, right now. And it's okay because if, like I said, if these individuals that you're dealing with can't catch up, then are they really for you? Are they really gonna be helping you jive, right? To get you to this, to this treasure island? Cause I don't know.